Hey guys, what's up Scorpio? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it, I need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Alright, somebody's waiting on some good news, what it looks like. Oh, shoot. Aren't we all right? Alright. You got the Tower, the Four of Pentacles. There's this sudden urge. Like, I don't know if it's like, I can't let this happen. I can't lose this situation. Or, like, there's this strong urge to, like, gotta have something. Gotta... I'm not sure whose energy that is, but we'll see. Show me this tower for Scorpio, please. It feels like the energy around it is pretty intense. You got the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to balance something out, uh, work something out. Um, maybe even be more compromising, but um, there is this worry over here about like somebody giving the two sides or the flow of something. But it all comes down to um, this one pinnacle that, like, somebody just really wants to hold on to. But the problem is with this type of energy, sometimes we can try to hold on to, like, one too many things or, like, take care of one too many things. Or, you know, sometimes we can put other people or energies kind of before ourselves. So some type of flow really got lost there. And it's, it's like now somebody's worried if uh, it's like kind of getting back from something what you put into it. Show me this Four of Pentacles. For Scorpio, please. Oh, yeah, you got the Devil, Capricorn, Energy, and the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is your energy, but there may be something that you're kind of, or vice versa, holding on to that it's coming across show me the devil like it's it's just conflicting it feels like like it's just kind of holding you back there like it's kind of like being nervous about letting go of it but it may not be serving like someone's highest good here so with with this energy first off with the devil and the six of pentacles there's like this energy that's in the middle but then there's like trying to take care of all sides of things so when it comes to this one pinnacle it's like it's basically like i said trying to hold on to all everything all at once but there may be something here with the devil that's you know even if that's like self-sabotage or um even if it's like jealousy on someone's side or just having a hard time letting go show me this devil because for some, it's like going so deep, it's like conflicting with like, um, you know, moral, ethical, like religious. It, it, it goes pretty high. Show me this higher fence, please, for Scorpio. No, I want to see the devil, actually. Tell me more about this devil energy. You got the Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with a, uh, a fire sign. Somehow there may be... Like somebody like almost addicted to you, like obsessed, trying to hold on to you. Tell me more about that devil. Like it may come to a place where it becomes like someone's weakness. Five of Cups. two ways this is going because now we have kind of kicking in like the grasses and greener energy but it's almost felt like somebody's really worried about that like letting go of something worried that like uh not looking at the whole picture maybe even feeling guilty or he held back worried about like possible resentment 
Show me this Hierophant for the outcome, please. Okay, thanks. I don't want that many. We just had a couple of energies there. Show me the Hierophant, please. The Queen of Swords. So you're coming into this energy, um, could be dealing with a, a air sign, but it really what it feels like is you kind of have like the Empress vibe going on, like experiencing all, uh, almost like all these different avenues of self, but as a result, you're kind of in this, um, yeah, this logical mode with the Queen of Swords, very independent, very educated, very resourceful, and very, with the Three of Swords, protective of heart, of self. It actually feels like you are, you know, like creating some type of distance here. I mean, this could go pretty deep. This could have been anything from like emotional manipulation could have been here. Um, you know, this this is bringing some pain, some some heartbreak. I'm so sorry if that joke. Now I remember doing that reading. Um, I believe it was yesterday, Sunday for you guys. It feels like somebody's going through something pretty specific. What is your advice for Scorpio, please? Oh, that's too many. I that was like 10. What is your advice for Scorpio? Focus on loyalty, security with the Ten of Pentacles. Abundance, family may um, may be beneficial, but you also got the sun, the star, and the four of cups. So it feels like happiness, what you're hoping for, what you're wishing for, is within reach. But with the four of cups, there, like really, um, don't have that 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 you know. Don't doubt yourself. I'm not saying you are, but sometimes with the four of cups. You know, somebody can kind of, you have all this really happy energy and then it's, it's a lot of doubting it. Yeah, because love is, love is coming towards you. This could be something that's actually brand new coming towards you. All right, Scorpio, I hope it helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.